Come with me, artists, for this enchanting tutorial where I will be painting beach flowers in soft pastel. For the next few lessons here on the Monet Cafe YouTube channel, I'll be focusing more specifically on a certain pastel painting technique. And for this particular lesson, I'm going to talk about the importance of layering. When I first started painting with soft pastels, I did not understand this concept, and I couldn't understand why my work didn't look like the work of other pastel artists. And I do think by the end of this tutorial, you'll understand why layering creates magical color. Are you ready to get started? Here we go. I found inspiration from a beautiful reference image that was from unsplash.com, a great site for copyright-free reference images. I was especially intrigued by the beautiful neutral palette in this photo. I felt like I wanted to climb in this image with a cozy blanket, a good book, and a cup of tea and just enjoy the salt air and beautiful scenery. The surface I chose is one I actually repurposed. I've been repurposing older paintings this month. I'm using a stiff bristle brush to brush off the pastel of this sheet of UART 400 pastel paper. I just love that we can actually repurpose older pastel paintings. And it might look like a mess here, and of course you can use a new sheet of pastel paper, but I do recommend using a sanded surface for the purposes of this technique that I'll be sharing today. I used my reference image to choose my pastel palette, and no, I didn't stick strictly to the reference image. And while choosing the pastel palette is not the focus of this pastel painting tutorial, if you're a patron of mine on my Patreon page, you get all of my commentary and information on how I went about choosing this palette and even punching up some of the color. Oh, and that video is almost 100% real time. I'll tell you later how to become a patron of mine if you would like that lesson. I'm speeding up the sketch portion here so we can get to our topic, this technique that I want to focus on for this lesson. So this sketch is sped up and obviously it is on top of the repurposed paper. Again, you can use a new surface, um, so try to ignore that ghost image that's beneath there. But the concept of layering is one that I truly did not comprehend for a while when I first got started with pastel painting. And it was the main reason why I was not getting the results that I was seeing other artists have. And I almost gave up on pastel painting. I'm so glad I persevered. So that's why I love sharing these techniques with you. So you can see, I just used these little Prismacolor new pastels to get in the landscape concept and an idea of a few of the flowers. Now, here is where we're getting started with some of this layering. When I first started pastel painting, I wouldn't have known to lay down a dark layer like that. And this is a phase that's called blocking in. We begin by blocking in some of the main values and colors in the image. So it's best to start with a very simple sketch and focus primarily on the values. Notice how I'm getting some of those darker values in. And yes, it looks a bit like a mess when you're first getting started. I think that's why it's so hard to grasp this concept. We feel when we are beginning to paint as beginner artists that it should start really looking great or really a lot like the image when we first begin. And we have to resist that urge because it often takes a while for these layers to come together. And your end result when you learn these layering techniques will really help your painting to have more impressionism and look more painterly and artistic. So I'm now blocking in some of these uh, lighter values. They're obviously going to be the sky and the water in this image. Later, I'll get to the flowers. Um, the distant rocks there, I chose not to make them exactly like they were in the image, not as dark and not as gray. I really want these rocks to feel like they're in the distance. So I made their value a little bit lighter. But can you see how I'm kind of working in sections here? I'm getting my little sections of of the composition in according to big shapes and values. Now I am getting a little bit of a darker value underneath these rocks. And this is a little bit right now the concept of layering. I just layered a little bit on top of the other color. That's all that layering is. It's layering one color on top of another. So you'll see more of that come to life as I get the final block in done with this painting. So again, start with your sketch, block in your main colors and values, resist the urge to get detailed, 
And once you get things blocked in, the magic of layering can begin. Now I've slowed this down back to real time and zoomed in a bit. So you can start to see now, I'm layering a little bit more color over those original kind of a darkish blue and a little bit of a green. I wanted to warm it up a bit. So I layered a little bit of that pretty rusty brown color. And now I wanted to cool it off a little bit, make it feel like it's a little further away. That's what happens with cool colors. So I'm just layering very lightly. You wanna keep a light touch with this, a little bit of this blue on top of my original layers. And now I'm going to layer some over the water. I got in my just basic value. It was a little bit lighter than everything else, but I can see in the water there are some darker values. So I chose this turquoise color that is a little bit darker than the original lighter value I put down on the water. And now I'm using some of that same turquoise to get a little bit of a darker value, layering it on top of the lighter value in the sky and putting a little bit of it on the shore to give the feeling of that wet sand. And now I'm using some of that same turquoise to get a little bit of that light area. You can see it in the reference image, kind of between the rocks and the grasses. So I got the turquoise in and now I'm layering a little bit of light on top. So as I paint here for the next few moments, I want to describe what's happening when we layer. Rather than creating a painting that's like a paint by number, if you've ever done a paint by number, you have colors that are all beside each other and nothing is really layered on top when it comes to color. And when we layer a color on top of another color, a magical thing happens, especially if you're painting with a light touch. Some of those underneath colors are peeking through. That's what's gonna give you that magical color. I feel like the colors even vibrate a little bit with intensity. And it's actually what happens in nature. We don't see the world through a lens like a paint by number. Colors are interacting, bouncing off of each other. So that's why layering is a technique that will give a more believable and painterly style. Now I have most of the background and middle ground established and I'm going to start working on some of these flowers. I am going to start by layering in some of the centers of these flowers and I begin with a dark value first. Even though you look at the photo and if you zoom in, you can see the centers of the flowers are yellow. My tendency in the past would have been to grab a yellow for the center of the flower. However, by getting this darker value in first, I am going to make those oranges and yellows really pop. I'll actually end up with four colors and values before I am finished with the centers of these flowers. This is one that's kind of a, a reddish brown. And now I'm going to go for my third value and color, which is a brilliant orange. And finally, for some of the centers of the poppies, I'm going to add that golden color, the one that you would normally think of when you think of a daisy center. And if I had just created the yellow centers to the daisies, they would not have had the value contrast and the impact that they have by creating these different levels of values on top of each other. And now I'm going to do some petal painting. Why would I grab this kind of gray? This is such a pretty color. I believe it's a Terry Ludwig pastel, this gray blue. Well, I want some of these flowers to feel like they're buried beneath the grasses. I needed to get in some darker values on top of my block in and establish some depth to these grasses. And now I'm cooling off and adding another uh, blue color to layer on top of the petals I had previously painted. For the flowers that are on top of the grasses and reaching upwards, I chose a value that was a little bit lighter than the one I had used beneath and still very cool in color though. Notice it's like a blue. The reason for that is I'm going to layer some final much lighter colors on top of these petals, but this bluer, slightly darker value than my final color will give that feeling of shadow of some of the petals that are beneath other ones. And a special message to you beginner artist, if you're a beginner artist watching this, I want to encourage you to not give up because it is achievable. None of this is rocket science, as I always say, and painting really does become easy once you know a few simple rules, but you gotta know the rules. That's how this channel started. I had such a challenge getting started with painting. I had an, 
full-time job as a mother. I had another job and it was really hard to find education that would help me and hold my hand through some of these steps. Not only did I not have the time to go to workshops or seminars on painting, I didn't have the money either. So that's why I started sharing my painting adventures and story through this YouTube channel and called it Monet Cafe. So now I'm adding a little bit of these teals because now this is where I broke out my artistic license. I thought the teals would look beautiful as a complementary color to some of those oranges and um, deeper, rich, warm colors. Now you can see I'm getting lighter values on top of some of the petals. Can you see those blue shadowy petals peeking through now? And I hope you're able to see now that the concept of layering is what I have used to build this painting and create color that is more true to life. There is more to this tutorial, but real quickly, I wanted to share with you about becoming a patron of mine on my Patreon page. If you would like the extra content to become part of my beautiful Patreon family, I get to see your work. It's a beautiful, happy place. So it's easy, it's only $5 a month, and you can cancel at any time. Now, I decided to use some fixative to get an additional layer. Remember, I was working on a repurposed surface and I felt like I wasn't getting enough layers for some of these flowers I want to be buried. So I used this little technique of spraying some fixative. The type that I used is called Blair Workable Fixative. Sadly, it is discontinued now. But a fixative that I recommend, and one actually it's one of my favorites, is by Sennelier. It's called Latour. I like it because it doesn't darken your final image as much as the Blair did. And uh, it's really great for just getting an extra layer. Now let me address real quickly. A question I get all the time is, do you spray fixative on your final paintings? No, I do not. Because it does darken your painting a little bit. So I just use it every so often, not much, to get a little bit of texture to my painting in certain areas to get a few more layers. All right, you can see I've added um, some grasses and stems. Again, just a part of layering. Notice how things came in stages of kind of working from the ground up and kind of from the inside out, adding our final layers of things that are going to be on top, like the grasses and uh, just some of the little textural elements in these grasses. I'm using a thinner pastel. That's a Prismacolor New Pastel to get some of the stems and the grass shapes. Now I got a little crazy sometimes Sometimes I like to maybe get a little abstract. I got a lighter pastel and added some fun little shapes around some of my flower petals. Also added some more of that pretty turquoise color. Again, I was just loving the complimentary color palette of the oranges and the turquoise colors. And if you've been on my channel long, you know I love color. So I got a little fun with this one, but I tell you, I hope you learned a lot about the importance of layering and why it makes your pastel paintings more beautiful and painterly. Please let me know in the comments if this video was helpful to you, subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Become a patron if you would like to get the full content and to support this channel. All right, everyone. God bless and happy painting.